Here are the steps to purchasing your registered coach status. I'm at the Equestrian Canada website, equestrian.ca, and I'll go over to the top right and click on My EC. I'll enter my EC number and password and log in. I'll be taken to the front page of my EC profile. It shows here that I'm yet to renew my sport license for this year. But for now, I'll click on Coach Status. I'm given a little overview of the difference between the two. And lower down, I'll choose Purchase. The information autofills because I've had a sport license before. There's some survey material to get through. And I'm going to choose a gold sport license. You must have a sport license before you can have a coach status. Uh, bronze at the minimum. Um, gold if you plan to com compete at that level. And at the bottom, I'm going to say yes to purchasing a new coach registration or license at this time. And I'll need to provide my NCCP number, which is available at the CAC locker. I'm going to choose registered coach status for illustration purposes. It will list all the things I'm going to need to have before I'm granted that status. But first of all, I need to purchase it. So I'll agree to their terms and conditions. I'll skip a donation and agree to sharing information. And this is my cart page where I can see uh, the total that I'll owe and I can proceed to payment. If I were to do that and then return home and access the eCampus, then I'm taken to all the records that EC has uh, on me and things that I've uploaded to EC on my dashboard. Most important for this purpose is that under licenses, which you may need to drop down by clicking on the arrow. You should see Registered Coach Status 2022. If I pay for it, it would be here. And I would click on View Details. And this is where I would be uploading all of the documents and materials that is required before they can grant me my registered status. So if I needed, for example, to um, upload for my first aid training proof, I'd drop that window down. I would choose which level of first aid I had, and it needs to be a standard. And then I can upload that document and choose the file, where is it in my folders, and so on. I can add it and upload it from there. Once all of these uh, sections have the required document, whether it's one out of two options, whether it's um, two pieces of reference, for example, a coach status needs two, registered needs one, um, all, once all of those materials are in place, EC will automatically get a notice that um, your status is pending review. And you just keep an eye on it, and they should notify you once it has been um, approved. It will show here. Since I haven't purchased one for 2020, it doesn't show anything. Um, <clears throat> many of the things that you do in the CAC locker and the courses that you take uh, are automatically transferred to your profile here on the eCampus. For example, you're making ethical decisions evaluation. When I took that, that was through the CAC, but it shows up here in my certificates and documents under courses, and I can view that. 
I can see that when it arrived and so on. <clears throat> but I need to make sure that I am uploading the documents I need for my status under licenses and under the name of the status that I am working towards. I hope that's helpful. If not, please email me at nbeaeditor at gmail.com and I'll be happy to help as much as I can.